Atsu that didn't come out of what a little funky, but oh, he almost actually sniped the sandblast with a DI. That's not easy to do. But he burned himself out going for the parry. That's scary. Yeah, I think that was still a burnout like Dragon Lash, so it was zero. They traded before Kawano got his drive gauge back. How though is, is still in a good spot here. Oh, that was fantastic! What a, what a play right there. He didn't have any game. It's true. Talking to Hellbro before we got in here, my man was like, there are things I need to clean up. He knows that he is at the precipice of where he needs to be. He doesn't feel like he's on the stage. I do. But he doesn't feel like, he needs, like he's there yet. Oh, that was fantastic. Just look at the switch up right now. And that's because he holds himself to a high standard, right? That's the type of stuff you need. He baited it out. He baited it. And that's going to be it. Wow. Phenomenal start by Halibel. And again, but, ah, uh, Halibel going to uh, even side switch. Carry him to the other side. One wall. Oh. Wow. Starter again. Let me see it. <gasps> oh my goodness, Kawano was ready. For oh it. my god, what? Oh, Staves off set point. There's a crushing kick driver, a starter. A sniper. Give me the max amount of Oki. Oh, oh. Nice what in the, the world? That? Yeah, I have not seen that one before, but a nice perfect carry on the drive rush pressure. And Kawano, he wants to slow Kawano really down. is under pressure oh, here, but now in a good spot, you know? Right now, Kawano, now he's in full control. Halibel needs something big, and he's not going to get it. It's just like that. You're burnt out. Kawano cancels just in time right there. Got very close to being too late. But don't test the kid. Backdash. He is the victory, and Kawano, like we said, cannot afford to drop a set. It's a rip the OD. Try to the air. Punish too. Nah, Whoa. What kind of punish was that? Needs to finish off the jump, though. Oh, he's got it! Halibel maybe schemes on an OD fireball. Interruption. No follow-up, though. Halibel trying to stay in that right range to get that perfect parry. Oh, man. Halibel's really trying to get those perfect parries. That's going to put Kawana in a really good spot. Halibel does not have a lot of resources. Halibel feels like he's been thriving in an area like this, right? Back to the wall. No safety net. Kawana. Oh, good. Faded it out. And it's 1-1. One, one. Damn, what a match. Clutch. Oh, he, he tried to be too fancy. He tried to be too fancy. <clears throat> if you go for the optimal punish, you can't drop it out like that. Man, this is a huge drop by Halibur. It's completely unnecessary. Oh, yeah. I think I, I think he can kill. He put himself, he's got this gambit, what a block on the overhead, he just got to chip him out. I, Man, I'm sure he could have killed him with a level 2 combo, gambit, but right? But yeah, you gotta be careful with the spacing. Mm -mm, no escape from the corner here, you locked down, I'm your PO. Mm -hmm. And look at again, just uh, making sure he maintains his range, right? Oh, wow, my what? What? Oh, Shadokun beat him. I just realized that. Halibur can play, play the entire cast on a high level, by the way. He can play Honda. Is he going to go Mano? Halibur can play any character. And he will. That kind of reversal. This is very bad. This is the for reversal. There it is. With a lot of things, he does have the only music. They have some space in this place. He's backed off. There is no real. Okay for this character. Oh my god. He actually got that. I can't believe it. But there it is. One more and he's dead. Oh my god. Is that it? Not quite. This will reach. Halibel is just messing back around back. and getting the win here. It's so stupid. Trying to get this character up in the corner and not let him leave. Perfect parry. I love the defense with the side of Halibel. Once again, it's a There's going to be the five medals again. This is a blue world we're living in right now. And that's it. Ooh, and he's dead, yeah. baby. GG Halibel yeah. takes it. They both know. Like this is for who gets out. Uh, who gets into top 16? Lots of uh, a lot more cash on the line if you make it uh, here.
Not win even. this one. Great discipline from Cross. Yeah, Barb to take him down, and we've seen DJ be able to dump out damage. Has to on the axis, and there it is. Draw and brush wow. with punish using the bar at the bottom to catch that crouching medium kick. Wow, Crossing that was great play right Cross there. Really good at not walking back and getting sniped by crouching medium kicks. And then he uses the OD. He knew Kawano didn't have that available. So he the bottom. Oh, he actually got that in no punish. I mean, he wasn't hurt. Was Whoa. Actual punish. That's true, but it might be chip, though, Dip. Chip, yeah, chip. Triple chip, chip, yeah. yeah. Good stuff from Big Crossover. damage on the side of the Spare King, and now he has this corner advantage. Cross up, not going to go his favor, though. Stand heavy punch. This is not good. The Spare King I find it so corner. dangerous for now players to now jump into the corner the like that. Trouble tries to jump out. What a dive kick. Wake up OD to return. Oh, man. No drive gauge there for Nephew either, so chooses to burn himself out on his own. <laughs> Finds the counter hit in a bit of a Star Spangled. Oh, man. Beautiful, perfect uh, parry. Cross up. He's not labeled as red, so it looks like he's still in this, but I don't think he can make it anymore. That is messed up. I'm like, I'm just sitting here blocking, man. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, you're trying to be funny. I see. Ah, okay. I nice. love the armor on the Gladius, yeah, representing that option early, saying, hey, you can't just pull up in this space. Mm, just raw Gladius goes, that Gladius is just it, absurd. And is a burnout once again. That was sick. I love that little bait to set up that burnout from Shaka, although he's got the challenge into the uh, critical R, and he says, let's wrap this is, up. Is there going to go to Memphis, but I, th I don't think that's good enough, right? So oh, never mind. That's just death. Okay. Yeah, you know? I'm DPing people, okay, guys? As long as I'm doing that and not my wife getting DP'd on OnlyFans, we're good. Like, a slight difference, okay, guys? I, I don't want to start any, like, hate on anyone, but I have no idea how any guy can have any self-respect if his girl is on OnlyFans. I have no idea what kind of mental gymnastics you have to pull off to tell yourself that that's okay. Oh, he cracked! Oh no, he got him! He's gonna be first out of which is big. He's gonna have EX Fireball or Drive Rush or Setups or whatever he wants. Chris Wong has to respect for now. About to be out of burnout. He has drive gauge back. He was about to spend it. He actually checks the drive rush forward. This dude, Shaka, is actually ridiculous. OD fireball clash in the mid screen. You seeing him using the float just to get around, possibly. Oh my god, perfect parry. Goes for the long range. Oh. Another perfect parry. This dude, Chris Wong, is in trouble. Oh my god. Fireball gets the knockdown. But he's about to be in burnout again. He oh, he got in. in. Chris Wong just not ready. He's just playing so great in this position, but not in the great But position. now, now that's a dangerous spot to be in. To throw the fireball too far to actually interrupt. Oh, oh yeah. important. <gasps> oh, what? Workout level three is on the table. Chris Wong is going to cash out. It's time oh, wow. That was a much closer set than I was expecting. Setting up the obstacle course with the booms. Making sure he respects the space. And I like how he's stepping back to do so. Opts for the parry just to get a little oh. bit of a drive back. And it's not a big deal, though, because he's, he will recover in time. Going to checkmate with the I know not quite just because the burnout barely ended. Very fortunate. What the? That side? That uh -oh, could have been it. Uh -oh. Like, he chose a level 2 combo for no reason. Extension as well, yeah, off the X dive kick, I love it. These Feng Shui combos are so good. The combos are fancy, but... And honestly, okay, he won, but the Spear King could have just done a regular combo. And that would have killed into level 3. Like, he even had C8. Oh, that was so good. Not letting him drive rush. on the ground there. Nothing from Big Bird doesn't try parry. Oh, good throw. back throw. Very scary. If he hits a level three. Uh oh, that drive gauge looking dangerous for both of them in the armor and the level three. Oh my god. That might actually kill him. Kiss the fist. No, no scaling. That's it. He's done. He is dead. It did so Big Bird on the ropes right now. Nice. Calls out the armor. Big damage on the table. Puts him in burnout as well. Has two bars. Gonna go for the cross up. The back tech's gonna Oh my god, this is so disgusting going. now. Stealing burnout right now. Big Bird with a lead. Level three is there. You gotta be careful with this offense. Yeah, I mean this spot sucks. Like you Oh we got I don't even think he's gonna wanna spend meter really because unless he gets another hit or something, okay. Now this is scary. Very mm, winnable round all of a sudden for Chris Wong. CA's a threat. One good hit could do it. Oh, Where are you going? Big damage. oh it killed! Big damage. Oh, wow. 
Oh, oh. himself in burnout. Oh my, that is very Oh yeah, scary. that is dangerous for Chris Wong now. Oh! He didn't have to meet it for the driver, so it's nothing. Swing in with the stand right <gasps> off. Go straight into the level three. That is gonna That's it. That's it. Okay, so Big Bird cannot make it out in first place anymore. Nephew or Big Bird? Who's gonna make it out in second place? We'll figure it out right now. Because if Big Bird wins, he's still in second place at least. Board heavy, getting a little anxious. But this right win now. right here is all Chris Wong needed to solidify himself in first now place. Got that Not a lot of damage, but the positioning is there, and this is going to be a lot of damage. Going to lose like 50% based off of that alone. Yeah, so the the, the rest does not matter to, to Chris Wong. And I think you can see it in the gameplay. Um, Big Bird is the one who uh, is uh, under pressure to perform right here. Followed by the crowd strong and with this is the round. This is what you need now, Big Bird. Got to pull it together here if you want to make it out in, in second place. But it's not working out right now as he takes another throw. Yeah, I mean, look at this corner position. Crashing medium immediate level one. Doesn't want to drive rush because it'll put him in burnout. I like that choice. Okay, Sparta kick goes back mid screen. Jumps the wow, that jump. Stand fierce once again. And Chris Wong has really woken up here. I think he. I think that's it. Air knuckle combo right into it. Beast mode, baby, to clean things up. Headphones coming off. Yep, Two to that's one it. For Chris Wong. And Over Big Bird is out. Does not want to deal with any shenanigans. Wow. Ooh, a little leggy anti air. I was definitely told about that anti air uh, from Mr. Zaffarino. Definitely uh, tuned me on to the how good of an anti air button is. Obviously, a little bit slow to start up, but has <laughs> great priority. This is a good position nice. to be. <laughs> Trying to find a way to double dash. <laughs> To be in, I've seen this before. Fandroy pulling this exact sequence off, and now this is a really bad spot to be in for Mr. Crimson. Not good. Oh! Huge punish off the sweep. Oh! But again. Oh my god. Jesus. He went so high. He went so high to avoid that. Unbelievable. He is doing that a little too much, and Mr. Crimson is downloading him as we speak. Yep, just needs one more hit at this point. And that's it, Mr. Crimson. Staying alive in this, but man, was that a clutch one, you know? What did he misunderstand about it? But still, I didn't think he was close enough to the wall to get hit, but DCQ with a great start, although a little bit of a combo drop right there. I, I mean, I'm just guessing there's a head-to-head -head, uh, tiebreaker, I d but maybe there's not, like you tell me. I'm guessing if they have the same game differential head-to-head -head is the next tiebreaker, because it's usually the case. But yeah, DCQ takes the first map with the perfect. DCQ just jumps right out of the corner. This is a tough situation for Knuckle Doo. Again, with those anti-airs too, DCQ, he is definitely playing so solid. Here we go. Great opener, OD dive kick. Oh! Level two. Wah, wah, wah. Kind of situation here. Wow, that was not even punish counter. That was good for Knuckle Doo. needs to get one more hit. And again, oh. this will and that, that should be it. And that pretty much means he is guaranteed to no, get to damage the... damage is good damage. For sure. And making sure you got to be really careful now as Mr. Crimson. As much as if can. the level 3 but hits you, you might die. Back, but look how much life he lost being in that oh level. my god, the bravery oh, on Mr. that one. Crimson. Ironically, He's not from bravery, but away. from Mr. He's Crimson. This is complete. All right, here we go. Dookie, like I said, already eliminated at this point officially, but he wants to be able to say, you know what, I went 3-2 in my pools, which is oh, very, yeah. very impressive. <laughs> Another dude was like, I've had enough of this. <laughs> oh, the OD taking out the charge. Yeah, oh. priority system with projectiles. Oh, Too slow. Here Too we late. Go. And that was because Book Dookie did an empty jump. Oh, <laughs> let's go. Everywhere. He Super wants machine to kick. Let go. No, this is me. I am Dookie. This is is gonna be really close here. Oh my god, he's still in this. The comeback is happening. It's happening! Yeah, careful with the drive meter as well. Trying to go in for the grab with the low shimmy. Tornado! Oh, oh my he's god, he's Dookie. still not out yet. But now he is. Incredible comeback by Dookie. Wow! Now! <laughs> yeah, he's just uh, dancing there. I love stop. it. Now! <laughs> Look at 
Oh wow, that was fantastic conversion. And he, I, Knuckle Dude knew it. Knuckle Dude just knew it. Wow. What a play by Knuckle Dude. Absolutely crazy. Yeah, Knuckle Dude's like, F that NATO. Is gonna take it over Dookie. That and I'll trying to stay within range. Does get the target combo. Flash knuckle drive up. No sir. Val Master is not gonna be pressing any buttons, but he is close to the corner. Does have two bars to his name. He <gasps> oh, he up. threw him on reaction. <laughs> you're, you're not winning Capcom Cup because you think you have the best reaction speed in the world. You're winning Capcom Cup because of your understanding of the game and how to uh, uh, steamroll or how to accumulate an advantage. That's how you win games. Him down goes for the meaty, and there you go. Arabian cyclone frame trap with the punish counter. Loving the space in between. <coughs> Did you see Kaba confirming his standing hard kick with level one? Does find a way out at least for your walking, but yeah, but how much time do you have to do that? Spinning mixer two times over. Mike X hasn't found any success. And once again, like, um, we would have to take a look at the footage. In a lot of cases, it's not a raw confirm, uh, but it's a confirm of uh, checking what the opponent does right before they get clipped by that move. Gachi could very dominant. Yeah, he'll keep he'll continue to threaten it. Oh, the delay jump there from Mike. Yeah, so unfortunately I don't have the full data, but I can still try to take a look at this. Is that it? No! The last hit ten percent and looks like had more than ten percent health. Oh my god oh my god. Oh my god. And then there's a laid back throw. There's the level two. He's got to deal with this. Wait, with the hook of my crook. You've got to deal with it. No uppercut yet. Oh! She tried to go for the throw and I cannot him. believe Gachi Kun got that round. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. My man pilfered that round. And he's going to get the forward medium punch into the OK. Him down. There's a throw. Mike is he's shaking his head. He's not. He's worried about his defensive choices he's here. He's actually kind of stressed. You see him that that round was so brutal, and I don't blame Mike X at all for like being out of the game. You know, and that's it. That's it. That's it. The moment he uh, got you couldn't took that comeback. That was it. Mentally, uh, Mike X was defeated. Wirst du das auch so mitbekommen, ne? Wenn du im Livestream ab und zu mal dabei bist, wirst du es mitbekommen. Ähm, ich werde das ankündigen natürlich, äh, wann das ist und wo man sich da anmelden muss. Gachi Kun is about to ruin Takamura's chance. If Takamura does not win this round, he's out of Capcom Cup. He has to win this round. And that's it. Nami Kazu came today just to pull Snake Eyes down. Medium punch. Yeah, after the step step, still got the hit. Backs off Merkin. Fireballs, you have to be careful in the oh, minute. Wow. John Medium kick gets the punish counter. The overhead, you're almost dead. Yeah, Merkin. Oh, and there it is right there. The throw bait perfectly. That was nice. Good match. Merkin, nice. Snake is not technically eliminated. No. You can see it here, by the way. So if Snake Eyes wins his next two matches, Four matches straight without losing a match, he's gonna be at plus two. And if Fudo loses the next two matches and loses one of the matches 2 0, then Snake Eyes can get beyond him. Samuel, by the way, has an even tougher path. He needs to win all of his matches 2 0. And he needs to have Fudo lose both of his matches 2-0. Snake Eyes has slightly better requirements to make it out, but um, it's still kind of bad. I, I don't think Shen can be um, can lose his position at this point anymore. Maybe it's be be uh, like Fudo can still steal number one spot. But basically, for both Samuel or and Snake Eyes, in order to qualify, they need to win all their matches as much as possible, 
and they need to have Fudo completely choke effectively. Chango, my man, thank you so much for the sub on Twitch. I really appreciate that. Oh, wow, that was really good. Snake Eyes is legend, I agree. This is why I would love to see him make it further. Learn this man like a suit. Another dog walk to the corner. Oh, leash him up. He's turning barking Luke's into hush puppies right now, brother. Oh, the headbutt. Is it with the pressure? Oh, no. Wow. Snake Eyes is here to win. Okay. You don't have the Oki like you used to off the SPDs. You have to walk him down. Wow. Punish counter on that. Oh my god, he got him. He got him. Uh oh. I don't even know if the jump actually punished or not. Either way. GN here cooking him in the corner. He's riding that momentum from stealing that last round. Fudo on life support now, real quick. All the oh, right and that's a perfect KO. That's exactly what Snake Eyes needed. So far, so good. That's what Snake Eyes needs. Like, basically, I think uh, there's a room for one more bad thing to happen for Snake Eyes. Like a match not in his favor in some fashion. But only one. I think only one. The leniency is not very... Like, there's not a lot of room. But, I mean, Chien is on match point here. And uh, almost there, you know? Bar built for level three, appeared for this character. You're gonna see that more often than not. You see, she had still, he's not falling for any of the drive rush shenanigans. He was like, I know this way is an option, I'm not sticking my hand there. Play the character. Oh, that should be it. We dropping both, but to drop this man out is a loser. Wow, level three for the that should be three. it. Yo, you know where we're going? <coughs> so that's exactly what Snake Eyes needed. Wow, it's actually hilarious. It happened 2 0. Fudo lost 2 0. Exactly what Snake needed. No, Fudo needs to lose the match. Like, if he only loses one match, if he wins the set against Samuel, Snake Eyes cannot win. It's impossible for Snake Eyes to proceed if Fudo uh, wins the, his next match. Just Even if it's just two to one, it's actually impossible for Snake Eyes if Fudo wins. And right now, it does not look that good. Nami Kaze got that win. Oh, there's the headbutt this time. Yeah, looking for the reset. Now Mikaze, he, I was going to say, he's not afraid to down back. Uh -huh. And now Snake Eyes reading that, picking up on the SPD. Oh! oh. This is fantastic. It's right though. Back though. So the back heavy kick, actually. Indeed. Now Mikaze's bought himself some breathing room, but the air tech immediately have to deal with the headbutt again. That shaves off so much drive meter. Caught him. Yeah, get victory. the level two. Snake get that victory. The drive rush. You next, fam. Jack yeah. hadn't worked before. Not the best level one, but... If, people try to escape if Snake here, loses this, he's guaranteed out. Yes. Fireballs. Careful now. He's trying to go for the hand grab. Unfortunately, too far out. Gripping his demons. Perfect parry. We see it only it's easier to explain the scenarios that Snake has to accomplish in order to win. Because the out situations are very frequent. Almost everything that can happen will make a Snake out. Take that room, oh no, counter hit, running bear grab. And we've seen that already, right? He loves that. Sticking out the button, resetting into the running bear grab. They're getting him big damage in these sets. That should be it. Oh! He dropped it. Did it come out or what? The part to utilize. Yeah, I was going to say that's plus and burnout. The OD Sobot. <coughs> Get through the fireballs, but the fake outs are there from the side of Nautilus. He's, 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 he's got the A. He's got the A. The drive rush and block. Uh, let's go. You have to be aware of what Snake Eyes and Zangy has that on deck. There is the level three. He, Talk he, to you. He needs something. The too many jumpers coming from Snake Eyes. And he, right? He's gotten away with a damn near every jump, if I recall correctly. I think you, I think you might be right. Like legit. Oh, yeah, the fast fall on the knee. That poor Larry, man. It's got yeah. slow startup. It is very difficult to anti-air that option. 
backs off, no overhead. Careful now, the bar the bomb get built heavy. And that should be it for this round right here. That's gonna be the round here. Now Makaze going quietly. Important round right here again. Is Snake Eyes gonna stay alive? I mean, he's technically still alive if he loses, but still, un very unlikely if he loses this. Uh oh. Flip out. Whenever he gets so close, I'm so afraid for him. Don't get too close to this character, man. I'm telling you. Fight kick, dry brush, OD mm -hmm. immediately. Wants no part of this. Yeah, I like that right here. It's like no more pressure for Snake Eyes. He hasn't really baited out anything yet, so might as well let the Jack Knight fly. For the variants. Ooh, yeah. he didn't even try to do anything after. Yeah, right now, just playing it slow and steady, trying to harass Snake Eyes down again. He has the ball. Oh, he tried to walk back in, exactly. Snake Eyes caught the low. He was too close. Taking the damage here. And the kick nice and close. Headbutt, headbutt again. Plus, plus. Oh. Uh. Now you're caught up in the corner. Oh and look at the headbutts, bro. Get this man some Oh, no. <gasps> he dropped it. We got fumbles on both sides right now. He finds the hit, another drive rush. Oh, my God. He's got it. He's able to close it out 2 0 and keep his chances of qualifying alive. Oh my god, okay, so the dream is alive. As long as Samuel wins, regardless of the score, by the way, because Snake Eyes got the 4-0 the, the victory today, okay? That's the best that he can do. And the 4-0 victory means as long as Samuel beats Fudo, regardless of the score, Snake Eyes qualifies for the next round. But that's important. If Fudo wins, his set regardless of whether it's two to one snake eyes is out yeah see he's waiting for it right yeah yeah definitely is looking to pop off with the jackknife love to there it is as you called it that's why you get analysis bro amazing what you do anyway ready with that dry rush play to get that dp it backs up finds a punish counter this should be close up with that dry rush light kick cancel in the level two okay see this is this is the leniency that we're talking about snake eyes is still not out because you won all of his matches. So there's still a chance, but Samuel needs to win twice now. Samuel needs to win twice if Snake Eyes is supposed to make it. Trying to find an opening somewhere, has to be careful that drive kick. <coughs> he hit actually not that bad with the reset, not so good. So he caught up in the corner after that back rise. He interrupts the crouching medium push. Uh, no he's too shaky, he's too shaky. You can see it. You can see that he's shaky. Like, Snake needed to beat Fudo. It was, that, that was the deciding factor, you know? So you can't actually throw those attempts either, you just get soft. Fudo sitting on set point. Well, the seal of deal. He drive rushes in with a medium starter. OD just cool. He's some more drive gauge and get the damage right there done. The machine gun upper. Meeting with the stand medium. Why does punch. Jimmy oh, love Snake no. Eyes so much? And Fudo playing complete he's, spoiler. He's my dad. That's you may why. have gotten hype, but you need to get hype from me, baby. But yeah, oh, the dream is dead. Okay. Straight up from All of this old. discussion. Fudo. In the top but Fudo just crushed it right Fudo here. On the top six Put himself in plus four. Four to one score. That out of the reach right for right Snake right Eyes. So and that's going to be it. That's going to be big damage on the board. Of the bar. Drive back as well. So this is really good. And he's got that corner right there. Yeah, he wins it. One good hit here. And Heavy Punch is very scary because of that. He just pulls up forward out of there. Swaps the drive gauge again. I love not spending any drive gauge doing the level two. So he builds tons of meter for this next combo. The Shar in great position right here in the corner. Oh. Jump Heavy gets the low forward into the OG Fireball. Small combo. Meaty Heavy Punch right there. And Lashar trying to close it out. He's got two bars on his side. Wow. And he's going to catch out. Wow, it was almost like he comboed level two into round. level two. Game number one. Right? Both this zero. Perry once again. And drive was just to make sure really count side switch wake up od uppercut coming from angry bird he's on level three here burns himself out but he has so much meter he wins in one hit anyway mm -hmm. that level three can really make a difference overhead could have been an option there lashaw was ready for it there's the level three and that's gonna be the first game for angry bird drag the fist start the fire Shit right here. very important map for angry bird out. right there I love very very right important 
Bird Kick takes a normal one on top of the drive rush. Goes for the overhead. Scary spot too. Oh, it went for the throw bait with the Hazanchu. Hits a button after. And Angry Bird is a little too slow. It's going to be level two here to tie us up a game apiece just like that. Oh my gosh. And that's what's on the line right now. You got to be controlled. <laughs> I see. Okay. I was, I was doing the math in my own head as we see a challenge early from Lashar. But late on that crouching heavy button. Weird timing. Angry Bird probably not ready for what's coming after. And they're really starting to stagger their offense even more so. You see Lashar starting to slow nope. to a big bet on that low forward into uppercut Lashar, making him pay for Lashar is so strong. Goes for safe pressure. Wow, aggressive drive rush out on block from Angry Bird, but Lashar is all over him here. Oh, did you see the walk forward to get away from a jump like D? No. It's not going to be enough. Lashar. Right now, Angry Bird is on the ropes, even though Lashar is working with very little drive. What a jump back. Put him in burnout. Yep. Yeah. Gets the level two, back to the middle of the screen. Lashar in burnout now. Ooh, Nitro, Cold Brew, Raijin to get the knockdown here. And Sweep, he just lands it. Burnout's huge. Looking for something on Wake Up. Tries to go off the wall. Could have had a full combo. Oh, wow. Heavy punch. Final round. And Lashar with all kinds of offense. And huge meter lead, by the way. That level three is a big deal for this drive gauge situation. Drive reversal once again. Lashar making sure he stays on Wow, the, the perfect parry. He has a lot of meter right here. Not going to use the <coughs> hit. Might be something big, especially considering what's on the line. He has the positioning. Stand roundhouse. Tries to drive rush forward. Knows that he has the momentum when it comes to the drive bar, so he's okay with spinning. Angry Bird is always happy to do that. Yeah, I mean, next hit, wow, puts himself in burnout here. Does have level three available, but potentially very scary. Yeah, you see Lashar giving up space now, afraid. Uh-oh. To uh -oh. that That's going to be so putting Angry Bird in burnout. And only level two can save him here in a second. Uh -oh. And that's it. And that is it. Lashar is going to take it. Yeah, he tried to parry once he saw the drive uh, rush come out. But of course, throws a really good response to that. Whip punish. Oh, nice punish. Oh, baited. Big damage on the table right now. Oh, nice. Python is a really, really interesting language. It's a, it's a very, it's very powerful and yet very simple. I love that about Python. He could have been the opportunity. Any Walker had a kill there, but now instead near the box on another chance. Yeah, counter hit standing jab would have worked, but late the snipe on the jump back. CA, let's go! Huge damage on this, and many already know ending for the kill. And that actually killed him. Jesus Christ! Ending Walker is is pissed. You can see that he's not happy at all with how this match is going. And that's the problem with Ryu. I think I think you can really see the problem with Ryu here. There's just so much inconsistency that you have to deal with. He would have eaten a third throw. He was down. He was down to eat a third throw for sure. Oh, wait, is there a parry? Ah, uh, he throw. tried to throw. Boxer has a chance right now. Spent two of his bars for that, but he gets the side switch because of it. Do you auto- Oh! oh. The gets the wall. This is not out of Nero Boxer's kit right now. He definitely has the ability. He tries oh. to go for a mix-up. The parry's gonna get him in trouble. He's really close to closing out, and you don't need to spend it all, but just to Whip make sure- on the jump right there to beat the parry oh, with the oh, counter pick. Actually, even he's that is bad, right because now, then the next match that he plays, he's two, gonna be the same three, with game differential. I think ball. Mena is not allowed this to lose to Kaba here. I think if really Mena loses to- Wait, Mena with JP. Wait, what? He talked about a few times in the season bringing out this character as an option. I mean, if we just talk about how Mena has I think if if Mena loses to Kaba here, he's guaranteed out. And look at the combos on display. Because the game differential is too good for for Kaba at that point. He likes to do with his other characters very present here, right? Just strong kind of mid-range options. He's very safe. He's not going to overcommit to things. And just like that, he suddenly has a surprise. Same thing with the drive impact before. His timing Since is when is Mena able to play this character? In the corner. Goes for the big jump in. Mena letting Kaba win. Why would he do that? Great anti -air, just the tail He's not doing that, no. He has a lot of experience, so he knows he can beat Kaba with this character. And this is a bad matchup for for uh, Dial. Mena is crazy, right? He's like Halibur, but actually good. Big damage on the side. needs to make something happen. OD 
goes for the parry. Smart tech there on the throw, especially in that spot. That would have been this. That would have been the first game. So much user jump in Menace play so far too. We haven't seen an answer crouching medium. Uh, that was that was and brutal right there. Of a first game. Five. It's no different here for Street Fighter Six. Big pick up with the drive rush once again. Kaba in the corner on the ropes. What's going to be his decision here, especially with that departure set up? Nice. I like that that Kaba. Oh, that was a really important back throw. Spike, right? Really good awareness of this in the matchup, but Mena's offense is looking incredible so far. Man. Defense too. Tries to jump out of the corner. Met with the Oh, uh, what? Up close Pierce baits the flash kick. What? The gets the first hit. Gets that full Yeah, combo, so if Kaba loses this, I'm pretty sure he's he's this out. Really out. Really matters, right? This is not your main character. Do you have the no, He's guaranteed out because right that was we have two players with three wins Sorry, at that he point. What happens when it's your he cannot overcome that. With two wins. Level three, full screen, with a great usage there. And now he has the life lead. Something and that's small it. gets the counter hit because he catches your peak. And luckily, he doesn't have any bars, but this still might uh. be the end. Wake up, level three. That's not going to nope. be enough. Nope, and that's going to be it. That's going to end the run of Kaba. And it's going to keep Mena RD alive. Good attempt. Nope, and burned out. All of that work, you know, and they're still, like, Lashara still has the life lead, and obviously even more than that now. <coughs> oh, he's gonna spend it all, my man. I love not being greedy here, right? Like, obviously we saw the reset work out earlier for Eddie Disgusting. Oh, he can kill here. You want the round, you gotta spend it. I think W level 3 here makes a lot of sense. There it is, Link Six, so that it does a little bit more. Damn, that was good. Ready for it this time. Tries to go for the overhead. And he walker looking for it. Goes with a parry and a soul body in retaliation. Man, this so is close is Ending Walker very here. Hard for Lashar to find a clean hit and make something happen. I mean, big same to go for Ending Walker, but he gets a big hit right here. Goes straight to the level two. And look, burnout for Lashar, but he still got all three Reset. bars. Yeah, the damage wasn't going to be that much. The reaction was perfect from Lashar. The minute he saw the green, he was more than ready. That's it, and that's the kill. He looked Lashar for green, looked and then Ending Walker died. Green. Winner's side. Green what? Does mean go. Base it off Whoever of wins game, this uh, set. Regardless of how close uh, gets the second Nero spot, the Nero will to see who makes dethrone Mena from the second spot. Early whip punish, a lot of Can you say that? Can you right dethrone like someone that. from second spot? We saw that his control of neutral with a two to one really score. So, far, even so let's see. Players, right? Just oh, Mena is using, the getting the flash and knuckle. That's a good sign. I like that. Waiting for the throw right there after the reset. And I like both of them kind of backing up to gauge with the predictions. Opponent. Predictions should be live. You have four seconds. Big pickup here by Mena RD. Early corner. Get off of me, OD Jackknife Maximum to get out of the corner. Ooh, no upkicks. Big neutral jump with the roundhouse. Big damage on the board. Mena RD with a very good, but that doesn't stop the offensive pull. But he does. Mena not trolling more. anymore. Another perfect parry, drive rush punish. <clears throat> he tries to go for a small reset there, possibly looking for a jump. Mena doesn't bite. Closer to that corner, though. This group, who would have thought that Nero the Boxer had a chance in the final match to still qualify? Trying to go to work, trying to go to work, and to Memphis. I love the dash up for Mena, representing a new option. Oh, perfect parry. DI, attack the drive bar, side switch, machine gun upper, and now Nero the Boxer with the momentum. This dude, Mena, didn't flinch, but he still gets the big counter hit. No Oh, that's a big one. Roundhouse for Mena, and he takes back this momentum and the corner. Representing that neutral jump a lot. Same thing we saw in that set earlier against Kaba. And Nero hasn't come up with a good answer so far. Although that puts him in burnout, which is very scary. Didn't punish. Wow, so fortunate for Nero. The boxer. <gasps> oh! Especially right there. Like no messing around at all. He's got a wind of it. So now oh, that's that's big. Big counter hit. He's got a lot of meter down there. Level three. This is gonna. Wow, be he's huge. he's gonna he's really risking it. Not that's a risky choice. Smoking the drive gauge too, which means he can kind of threaten with the X fireball drive rush or whatever he wants to do here. Be careful. And he got it. He got it. That's it. Wow. One one. Man, I can't believe how tense this is. I I feel so nervous for the player. Well, that's important. Important cancel right there. So it's the same plan, just slightly staggered. Speaking of staggered, 
Middle of the boxer in the corner. Perfect parry. Can't get the jump back. He's represented at a few times. Nice call out here for Nero the boxer. But he's got oh, that button. Impossible to deal with. On a round that can send him to the main bracket of Capcom Cup. Drive Rush Piercer just to start it off. Oh, oh and everything working out for Mena now. Nero hasn't adjusted yet, and that's why Mena is forcing like this. Bring it up. Wow, what an interruption. Uh oh, guess for the game. And he's guessed wrong, and that is it. If Mena doesn't drop. Mena RD making it into the next round. There we go. Definitely seen some, uh, you know, loot oh, that's brutal from the west coast mm -hmm. of the United States. I've seen like Akita go up against a bunch of uh, from Arizona go up against a bunch of the west coast loot. Very strong, but Garnett has just really in deep water. Started here. Exactly. Yeah, 1024 scenarios that have him advancing. Who? You know, we see have who advancing? Or it just a tad bit and just throwing out something. Because in previous games, we've seen him throw fireballs, we've seen him throw normals. But here is that perfect carry that we've okay. seen previously. And problem? With that oh, problem X. Really in deep water. The oh, yeah. And now, oh, but the wild driver from Juninho Ross has just straight. been absolutely unstoppable. Is that it? Perfectly timed. Is this going to kill? It, it is. is. Wow, that was potentially the fastest match of Capcom Cup, right? I think this is the fastest one. Sure, and then the whip punish off the grab, he read that so well. Yeah, but a good perfect parry here. Back throw, this couldn't change a lot. And yes, he's ready. Drive impact collision. Yeah, I will say. Ooh, oh, oh no, he, he dropped it. That, the heavy follow up, it is a little bit tricky to time. It's not free. I <coughs> mentioned that. Oh, oh he's that's actually block. really sick. He stopped just in time, pairing oh, the super da one. That's going to be a oh, lot of damage. Reset. And putting him into stun. That is a great round for safe here. Beautiful decision at the That end. was really good. Reset the out of there. Yeah, standing heavy kick. Such a good button in neutral. Uma trying to fight his way out of this corner position. Too far away for that crouching medium kick to punish. Oh, the, the confirm quickly. That was good because it's going to rebuild the bar. They have corner control. This is a really good spot to be in. I bet that hurt. I, uh, well, yeah, like you literally just punched my gut, Ken. All right. Yeah, the fireball from the screen away here. And safe looking oh, great. That is, yeah. that is it. Yeah. Safe like, yes. making that, that right work right Uma, there. Uma, just, Uma with like the first like loss. Down Actually, it's plan, the third like, loss go <laughs> for matches, but is, right? no set and was lost so far. Sweet. Both of them having trouble punishing each other's sweeps over here. Towards heavy punch. Such a nice button. It's hard to... Oh, oh, got the jump. oh deep oh, enough. Jump. And maximizing the damage with the side switch using the OD. <gasps> that was so meaty, and that was actually super smart from safe side. He is in the safe side, hopefully getting that match point, and he does. Oh, a jump in. Great start. Rainfall. Again, I have been capitalizing wow. his reactions and his anti airs You cannot jump at this man. Wow. 10 seconds have passed, and Rain Pro did uh, like 10 unbelievable things in a row. Oh, and another one. And another one. Rain Pro knows exactly what's going on and what to do. This is also a really good spot because, again, Roth, if he walks back, he's going to get into the corner. Anti air. Meet me in the middle. Roth is going to beat him to the finish line first. Let me go to bed. EK Sunstar. In that I can't. I have to give oh, well, the people what they want. The oh, a reset. nice reset. Mm, oh. Wait, ROF won the round? How? Was I sleeping? Oh my gosh, it dashes in. Like, Rock Rain Pro isn't getting checked by those. Rock is just trying to. Oh, nice punish. Uh, staggered here, but. Oh, the OD Amnesia. Perfect. KO. Man, this looks so wow. tough. Heavy Streebog right there just to get some frames to dash forward, but then good flash kick from Rain Pro. And now Rain Pro burning out ROF here in the corner here. And There's like a weekly, by the way, for yeah, yeah. people in Cologne. Yeah, that very or a bi monthly? I don't even know. Rob is in a very 
very scary situation. Like, no, not bi monthly, bi weekly. That's super two. punished. Trying to go up 3 2. He needs to win this to be able Rain to Pro really needs to win this. ROF can technically afford a loss here. Couching heavy punch. <coughs> very, very good anti air if you are anticipating the jump. Oh, he <laughs> held on to it so long, and because it was a punish counter, it took off a block of his drive gauge, and now he's burned out after blocking one sonic boom. Dangerous situation here for ROF. He's going to get hit by the standing yes. light kick. Yes, you got to be careful. He does have super two just to kind of close him out, and there we have it. That is that should be it. into the corner. How's Rain Pro is probably going to close it out with super two. Probably. No, no, not quite, not quite. No, he didn't go for the flash kick. It goes for the overhead. That is drive Rain Pro. Gauge. Oh, there we go with the super two. Now he has some time to kind of regain or regain the uh, oh. drive meter and Ooh, going for that first command grab. That is going to be a punish counter, so that is going to hurt. Slag might to stop oh, no. him in his tracks. Here we go. Wow. And DP he so risked it, it all. all. Oh. Punished for the throw bait, I should say. So that could have just been a lucky circumstance that it caught a so bot, but still riding off of that momentum. And I do like the idea of how unpredictable he is on his wake up. It could be up ball, it could be OD jump air ball, right? It's similar to Bravery's unpredictability on his wake up and how it's hard to kind of understand how he cycles through those options. But Problem's going to go for that drive gauge damage here. He hasn't got Lightning Beast. He's going to go for a different conversion, but he will be able to close out this round Jeez. with a round. The advantage moving him towards the corner even more so. Lightning Beast incoming off of the level two. Well, Jarby's got low on resources, so he's going to have to take a risk. Yeah, he was low on drive gauge, so he had to resort to the other option instead, and he will go for the punch. But the side swap has the plushie disappeared. Yes, it has. Okay. Oh, what? That looked ambiguous. What the hell was that? It hit. That's all I know. I blinked. <laughs> I blinked. I saw blue. I saw him turn into a ball. I couldn't tell you. Plus two situation for the advantage. Trying to check the walk away. Problem X responds in kind with his own impression of the OD up ball. Oh, oh man. The like OD the up, ball the OD instead. balls he have been out. really doing a lot so of work do here. S slash of fate. Trying to maintain that control. And I like this pick overall. I don't know how comfortable he is in this matchup in general, but I do like the walk speed and the problem she can present in neutral, but that's if she can get back into that situation. He, he's well versed in this matchup courtesy of our master back at home and entering various that's online true. tournaments, so he's got the wish punish tools, he's got the stuff Oh, this well, is not looking good for Javi at all. Always attack the drive gauge whenever you can. Of off of lightning beast if he gets those two things. All right, well, he's he might get that burn out either way. He's looking to chip him out, and it is guaranteed here as well. Will he go for the early stun? <gasps> it was Oh, it did! He wasn't okay. ready! Wow, I, that looked like a combo to me. Huge damage here for Problem. Look at that. That is humongous Jesus. damage there. Oh, not like and this. that's going to be it. Wow. Dominating 2-0. Travis is absolutely in it. Um, in fact, if he uh, wins this, I don't think he, um, he can be out anymore. Or it's unlikely at the very least. Travis attempted to go for the perfect. That was literally the optimal choice there for Joe Kevin, regardless if it was perfect parry or not. So the risk was all on Travis's end, and he gets hit with a level one Kikosho. What a decision to wow. the Travis is playing in burnout like he's he's the one in full control of the drive gauge. Those three. I can see those three. He might have to close this out in a different way, but Travis has to be very careful. Yeah, he has to Yes sir. Get him off of you with the drive reversal. <gasps> no drive rush cancel there. That could have been huge. He's gonna block it out here. He's gotta be very careful because Dual Kevin's looking to surprise him. And the decision making, even outside of the corner, still really trying to find a way to take his turn back. He just sits there on defense majority of the time. Four wow, down, so patient, again. all of them. And Travis okay. Styles sniffed it out. He wants the round. That's why he's done that Tensho kicks. He really wants the round here. And he's only got level three to work with. So if he gets like a button into level three, he could take the round. Away. 12 seconds on the clock. Remember, supers do freeze the timer. So if he gets a hit, he's in prime position. And that's why Dual Kevin's actually running down the clock. No way! That's it. He's going to do the level three now! <laughs> there you go. Yeah, he got it. He got it. One second on the clock, and because time freezes, you're good. Crazy. These pairs are what I'm aspiring to. Really good, right? That's gonna be huge. He gets to build his level three off of this. No oh, what? what? Kevin, do not do what you did against Problem X, please. Not like this. He, he already built the level three. He did. He had the level three. And I think he was. He had level three, yeah. 
He went for the easy combo. Oh. Grapplers are the most hyped by far. They've always been like that though. Wie er traut sich nicht, was meinst du denn? Er traut sich nicht zu streamen. Wow, Duel Kevin. But then dropping the easy stuff. Oh no! Like, like he, this is the second time I've seen that. No cancel. Oh dear. Here we go. He hasn't got level one just yet. Still Kevin, still got options. Trying to play it safe here. Oh my God, he's gone to that well again. With the overhead, Dual Kevin is. Uh oh, scary. 16 seconds on the clock. Still weighing it down. Forces a throw. That's huge. Yeah, but Dual Kevin still got super. So if he gets a hit, that's gonna be it. Oh, does he take another throw? No, he's trying to beat him. And that's it. Problem X cannot make it anymore with this win. Then his blanket choice is like he dropped an opportunity day. off of the counter hit. He Dude, still has he to hold the rest of it. You can jab in between that. You truly look dead to, now, Jimmy. Oh, I certainly do. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. almost yeah. 5 a.m. Well, you probably get a false knockdown or something. So. Mm -hmm. All right, he's not going to go to level three here. Just waiting it out here. I think he's waiting for a, a, a condo spire, but it hasn't come just yet. Can it hit stand medium punch? Oh, he's whiffing a lot of heavies here, problem. No cancel from the crouch and medium kick. That, that's the, oh, don't okay. get the man grabbed. Yeah, Still Red was, he was sniffing that out as well. I actually thought problem was going to cancel. Oh, oh it my anyway. God, the disrespect. No shot, the jab. Right. If you get stunned okay. while getting hit, to you're going to, uh, the scaling is going to be a lot better compared to on block. If you're going to get stunned, it's best to get stunned on block. Okay, gets oh, the that overhead. Was hit too. That should be it. The level three. Jesus Christ! Problem mm. X. It's kind of sad not to see Problem X, right? And it's the same for Travis. If Kusanagi wins, Travis uh, is not going to make it. Because his uh, game differential is going to be guaranteed worse than Duel Kevin. Who's going to get out of this group on top? Winner's side. Is it Travis? Or Kusanagi. It's kind of sad, you know? These are fighting for the first spot. But the second slot is not open to these guys. Is that how you even pronounce it? I've never had to say that word. I don't think it qualified as it. But it was similar, yeah. But it really wasn't that inappropriate. It wasn't that extreme. Catastrophic if Travis Styles does not have the right answers on defense. Plus frames as well. Continuing on the offense. Level 3 Kusanagi. Looking pretty damn clean. So now you got He's it. only got level one to really get him out of this situation. The throw will not do it, but he might try to bait something, Kusanagi. That's why he walks. Gets that throw. Wow, Travis is getting chip. just run oh. over right here. He's, so out here but he's got Kusanagi burnt out. Kusanagi's going to take a huge risk here. Ooh. If he doesn't want to avoid chip, there's the ah. jump. Travis is the charging up too. Go! And, and, and the fireball. Oh, it's not invincible. He does not have and he goes and does a wake up throw there, Travis Styles. And this is where he's going to get hugely active. Reset into the drive impact. Kusanagi is going to have to take this level with the Kusanagi. He's got a decision to make. And he blocks. Still blocking out. No parries yet. Almost burnt out here. Oh, he's trapped. That, that I think he wanted the empty jump there. It didn't quite work Again. out. Again. Again. Plenty of mediums being peppered in. Travis Styles trying to back away from the Jin Ryan pressure. Dashes into a fireball. Oh, it wow. Dashes Tying it up. They're, these are really, they They both know what's on the line, okay? Well, Their Capcom Cup life is on the line. I think they both do. Clearly with the tech. That throw break was everything for, for Kusanagi up until this point. The back throw Keep in place. Backs away, Oof. gets clipped low into the snap kick from the gin right. And oh, that's it. Wow. Okay. Match tendencies. point both players. It's coming Kusanagi. down to this. Final game, final round. You got it. He identified that. He threw an EX fireball first, but he didn't believe and didn't chase it down. No punish. That looked like well spaced. Good spacing oh, there from that's, Kusanagi. That was at the toenail, Jones. I know. Dusty and crusty. No 
will center the fireball, stopping all the shenanigans, going up forward. You know, we punish them the crouching medium kick from Travis either. He's playing super conservative at the moment, but he's actually pretty safe. Oh my style. god, the handshake of Destiny. And he will go into Hoya Kusen. What's he gonna set up this time, Vicious? Do we get the stop? Yes, we do. Excellent defense. Ooh, uh, big back. mistake. Kusanagi. Or getting out of the. Hey, just like that. Okay. Can you do it? You away. gotta do it right. Take out a bar and a half. Oh dear. Get this life Let, lead. Dude. Build up some of your gauge. You gotta drive up forward now. If he blocks, he's burnt out. He could lose. If he takes a grab, it's gonna be in trouble. And that's oh, why he did take take the show. He said, I'm gonna go out my own toes. There's a throw. Hang on a minute. Oh my, oh my god, I can't believe he got away with that. And then he's no still way. trying to run away. He still has an OD sword. You can <laughs> Talk to me, Janners! Talk to me, bro! What does he have in the tank left? Oh, uh, man, that is he it. He's so Kusanagi coming out of this group in winner's side. Well, that was last match for today. Um, you can see all of the winners and losers, by the way. Phenom out of group A, Chris Wong, group B, DCQ, group C, Gachiku in group D, Xian, group E, group F, Lashar, Uma, group G, group H, Kusanagi, and then the loser side of top 16 is going to be Kawano, Nephew, Knuckledu, NL, Fudo, Menardi, Say. Saif, or I'm gonna say Saif, uh, and Dual Kevin.